Hello guys, Smart Polly here. Welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to make a quick video to show you guys how to properly replicate Sprint. A lot of people might have this issue when trying to set up Sprint in their multiplayer game. This issue is where you get your character and when it's moving around in the scene, it is jittery or glitchy. Basically, I'm going to go ahead and explain this issue and how to properly fix it. So with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Okay, so first let's talk about character movement. So right out of the box, character movement is replicated. This means that if I were to click the play button, and if I were to move around, you can see on the other screen that my character is moving around and the movement is all replicated. And in fact, we could do this with even three clients, or we could do this with two clients and one server. So we have client three right here and client two right here. If we move around, you can see the clients can see each other run around. And we can see that the movement is replicated out of the box. So how exactly does that work? So if we go into the character, the third person character right here, we edit the third person. It's gonna bring up the blueprint here. And if we click on the third person character self or the class defaults, you're going to see all the details right here. And if we focus on this panel right here, the replication, you're going to see replicate movement is a checkbox right here. So as you can see, right out of the box, character movement is replicated for your character. And it's really just this check mark. Now, however, for sprint, on the other hand, there's a little bit of a different story. So if we go and set up sprint for our character, uh, basically what that is is setting our character movement setting its max walk speed um, this is the variable that basically changes how fast the character is moving and so we can change this by simply adding a a key event so for example let's use we're going to use the left shift key and when it's pressed we're going to get the character movement and then we're going to set the max walk speed to something like 1000. Okay, and then we're going to copy paste that. And when our shift is released, we want to set it back to the default speed, which is 600. And in fact, let's just go ahead and knock this down to something like 100 and copy and paste it for right here for the max walk speed that way it can be a much slower speed okay so if we hit play here we have our client two and three as you can see here we're trying to walk and if we try and hit the shift key it's going to be really laggy now if you can see on the left there, the character, you can't really see the character glitching out on other people's screens, but for this client right here, you can see that there's obviously something wrong. What is essentially happening behind the scenes is that our character is trying to set the max walk speed on the client and not the server. Well, why is this important? The reason why this is important, especially in multiplayer games, is because you want to do anything and everything on the server. Essentially, what this means is that the server has the ultimate authority over the client, and that means that the client should never be able to set their walk speed. Essentially, what the server is doing in this case is the server is glitching the character back um, to prevent them from setting their max walk speed to a thousand. You could view this essentially as the server trying to prevent the client from cheating. All right, so how do we properly set a setup sprint then? So if we go back into our third person character, we're going to add a custom event. And we're gonna name this walk on server. And then we're gonna add another custom event and we're gonna name this Sprint on server. Okay, and actually we're going to switch these around. 
And so the first one we want to have this run on server. And the second one we also want to have run on server. Okay, so basically we're just going to copy and paste these setting of the values and paste them over here and connect these up. Okay, and then we also want to call these custom events right here. So we'll call sprint on server as well as walk on server, just like that. Okay, so our client will set the max walk speed on the client side, as well as call this custom event that will execute on the server to set the max walk speed. Now, if we hit play right here, you're gonna see when we hit sprint, our character is properly sprinting now our character is walking slow because remember we set the walk speed to 100 but when we hit sprint our walk speed is set to 1000 and we can do this for our other client right here as well and you can see everything is working fine so essentially what we've created here is an RPC or a remote procedural call as a basic function of replication one thing that I want to tell you guys not to do is you never want to trust your client or your player in this case and pass values through these events. You never want to pass any values through these events. Now what that means is if you click on your event right here, you can add inputs and essentially what this will allow you to do is to pass a value from the client to the server. Now you never want to do this in any, in any way um, because this will allow your character to cheat. So if you think of this as a wall or a barrier between the client and the server, you don't want any data to pass between this wall or barrier. If we add an input for our max walk speed right here and allow this value to be passed through the server, uh, through the client and onto the server, this allows the client to, to change their walk speed and to cheat. Okay, you never want to do this. Okay, so we can go ahead and remove that. All right, and so one more thing I want to add is whenever you create a new character class, so if you right click anywhere on your content browser, blueprint class, character. So if we click a new character right here and open it up, if we go to the class defaults, the replicate movement is enabled by default. So as you can see here, Again, replication is enabled for the movement of your character or any character class that you make by default. And again, you'd want to set up your sprint or changing of the character movement speed in this manner. So for example, if you're going to set up a car, a boat, a plane, or any sort of character blueprint, you want to set up your sprint in this manner. So anyways, guys, I hope this was a quick tutorial uh, teaching you a little bit about replication. And I hope to make some more future in-depth tutorials about replication. I know this is a quick video, but I just wanted I just wanted to show off how you can quickly solve that issue of when your character is all jittery. And yeah, so guys, stay tuned because I am working on some replication tutorials. And I have a lot of exciting new things planned for this channel. So guys, make sure you hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one.